Hi friends, welcome back to 10 Minute Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain a romantic comedy film from 2018 titled, When We First Met. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. On the 1st of November 2017, a girl named Avery, attends an engagement party. She shares her story with the guests, about how she and her fiancé first met at the Halloween party three years ago. While she shares her story, her friend, Noah has a flashback of a Halloween party where Avery and Noah met each other. At the Halloween party on the 1st of October 2014, Noah accidentally spills his drink on Avery, the two adore each other's Halloween costumes and sit down to talk. Avery tells him that she has come with her roommate Carrie, who is having a good time with a guy near the pool. Then Avery asks Noah if they both can go out somewhere else. Noah takes her to a piano bar where he works as a pianist, and sings a song for Avery who enjoys his song a lot. After that, they both click photos at the photo booth, where she learns that Noah has never been in a relationship. The duo goes to Avery's house where they both play a game, eat cookie crisp in the kitchen while chatting. Avery tells Noah that she works for a charity organization. As the both of them are about to come close to each other, we are taken back to the engagement where Avery introduces her fiancé, Ethan. Noah is Avery's one-sided lover, and he watches them with a heavy heart. He drinks a lot at the party and then pukes in the toilet. Avery comes to him in the toilet, where Ethan also joins and gives Noah a multivitamin drink to recover the hangover. Noah tells Avery that he is fine, and it is just because he has eaten a lot. Then Ethan tells Avery that his parents will be Skyping her soon. Later, Avery asks Carrie who is a photographer, to drop Noah off at his home, but he says that he'll just go by the Uber. Just then he accidentally drops his phone in a bowl filled with juice, and now he has to go with Carrie. He steals one of the Avery Ethan plates from the party, and tells Carrie that he is secretly in love with Avery. Carrie's become shocked at his strength, to watch Avery get engaged with someone else in front of him. Instead of his home, he forces Carrie to drop him at the piano bar where he meets his friend, Max. Carrie wants to leave, but Noah is sad and he persuades her to stay and listen to his story, about how he and Avery met each other for the first time. Then, we are shown that as Avery comes closer to Noah, she gives him a hug that shatters his hope. Avery calls him her best friend, and tells him that she is glad to meet a friendly person like him. Noah tells Carrie that there was something special between Avery and him, but he doesn't know why his destiny did not favor him. He tells her that Avery met Ethan the very next day at the market to buy Coke Crisp, it was all for Ethan who has finished them. Carrie tells him that he needs to move on because he is just a good friend of Avery, and that doesn't mean that he could be seen as a guy who Avery will want to go out with. Carrie then leaves the piano bar. Noah says that he is not handsome or good-looking which disappoints Max, and he takes him to the photo booth at the bar. There he takes out his old pictures with Avery which they clicked three years ago, and then drunkenly falls asleep with a wish to be taken back to the day when he and Avery met for the first time. In the next scene, Noah wakes up from a dream in his bed. He discovers that it is Halloween today. He goes to a shop to buy Blueberry Red Bull, and learns that it is 2014 and only Red Bull is available. He then looks at the date in the newspaper, and finds that it is the 31st of October 2014. He takes the newspapers and runs to meet Max at his office who is an employee, and will be a vice president in three years. After that, Noah finds Carrie working on her photoshoot for a Halloween couple near Max's office. Noah meets her and tells her that he knows her because, he met her the last night at the piano bar while he was drunk. Carrie laughs at him and thinks that he is crazy. Noah soon realizes that he has traveled back to 2014 which means that now he can make things go according to him and win Avery over. He dresses soberly like Ethan and shows up at the Halloween party tonight. There he meets Avery, and talks to her about things of her interest to impress her. Avery is amazed at how they have a lot in common. While they both are at Avery's home, Carrie comes there and remembers that Noah bothered her that morning in front of Max's office. Avery suspects Noah of being a stalker which is why he knew everything about Avery's interests. They both come at him angrily, and Carrie attacks him with a potted tree. The next day, Noah wakes up and thinks that whatever happened was actually in his dream, so he texts Avery and apologizes for getting drunk at her engagement yesterday. Avery texts back and tells him that she has changed her phone and does not recognize him. However, Noah misunderstands the text and shows up at her house where he finds Ethan, and realizes that he has reached back to 2017 and it's Avery's engagement party. Just then Avery and Carrie show up, and they remember that Noah is the guy who stalked them three years ago. Noah somehow gets out of the house and returns to his place. He then goes to the photo booth at the piano bar, and makes a second attempt to travel back to 2014. This time he gets Max's help who gives him some tips about how to impress a girl. He tells Noah, that girls like rude and confident guys. He tells her that he should not pay a lot of attention to Avery when he meets her at the Halloween party. 
Noah makes fun of Avery's Halloween costume, and brings a bottle of beer for her. Avery gets annoyed, and goes outside where she pushes Noah into the pool. Noah asks for her help to get out, but pulls her into the pool. They both get close to each other, and then Noah wakes up in bed with her in 2017. He is now a bad guy and Avery calls him to her house whenever she wants to sleep with him. Moments later, Ethan and Carrie come to Avery's house, Noah becomes jealous and he feels threatened by Ethan. He thinks that Ethan will win Avery over and he will again miss the chance of making Avery fall for him. So he also joins them and they go for a jog in the park where Noah falls because of failing to jump over a bench. Carrie stays with him while Ethan and Avery go on running. Noah becomes annoyed and he tells Carrie that he wants to become the type of guy that Avery will want to be with. Carrie tells him that Avery is looking for a guy who is stable and can build a future with her. Noah says that he will do everything to become like Ethan and impress Avery. He tells her that he went to a business school so he can easily become the guy that Avery wants to spend her life with. Then Noah goes to the photo booth again and travels back to 2014. He gets a job in Max's office and meets Avery at the Halloween party. They both chat for some time, and then he takes her to the piano bar. Avery learns that he used to work there as a pianist, but now he does a better job that will make him a successful man. Avery leans on his shoulder and they both hold each other's hands warmly. In the next scene, Noah wakes up in his office in 2017, and he finds that he is a fat rich and successful man now. He finds an invitation card on his table, and learns that it is his engagement today. He is surprised to step into his luxurious house and acts weirdly with Avery. He finds that Carrie also lives with them. Avery tells him that whenever he is away for business affairs, Carrie comes to stay with her. Noah gets ready for the office, and he learns that he has his most favorite car that he wished to buy since his childhood. He is surprised to find that his life is facilitated in the most luxurious way. He goes to his office where his boss, along with the whole staff tells him about his promotion as a senior vice president there. An executive from China talks to Noah in Chinese. Surprisingly, Noah can also speak in Chinese. Later, Max comes into his office and tells him that Noah has backstabbed him because, it was Max who convinced his boss to hire Noah in that office. He tells Noah that it was his dream to become the senior vice president but, Noah snatched his opportunity. Noah tells him that they are friends and he will get a better position for him as he is the senior vice president now. Max tells him that they were friends three years ago and not now because, Noah has preferred his job over friendship since he started working in that office. Max leaves in anger, and Noah sits in his office being depressed. His secretary comes into his office and reminds him of his meetings. Noah learns from his schedule that he will be quite busy for the next three months. Noah asks the secretary what will be the consequences if he takes a day off. She tells him that if he does that he will be fired from the job immediately. Noah becomes upset and arrives late at his engagement party. He meets all the guests, and also Avery's parents. Then he plays the piano and sings the song that he sang at night when he and Avery met for the first time. But he fails to remember the notes he then finds Avery with Ethan in the bathroom, who is drunk and pukes in the toilet. He says that he is not well because he has eaten a lot of taquitos at the party. Avery wants to take him into the bedroom for rest but Noah feels insecure, so he decides to drop Ethan in his car. On their way, Ethan reveals that he has stolen the Avery Noah engagement plate from the party. He tells Noah that he loves Avery and he wishes that he could tell her earlier. Noah learns that Avery also loves Ethan, and she is meant to be with him only. Noah talks to Carrie, who tells him that Avery cares about him deeply but it is not love. Noah realizes that he has ruined the lives of many people by making things worse for them. He also feels bonded with Carrie through their conversations, and decides to travel back to 2014 to make Ethan and Avery meet again. After traveling back to 2014 he takes Ethan to the Halloween party, where he meets with Avery. He then meets Carrie who is interested in him and he finds that he has more in common with her than Avery. Then they go to the piano bar where Noah learns that it is Carrie who likes jazz and Count Basie, and Avery has just adopted Carrie's taste in music. Carrie also knows how to play piano, and she tells him that she has won a prize in a talent show for playing the piano. She tells him that she did not really feel like showing up at the party, but she came there to see her ex who was also at the party. Ethan and Avery click photos in the photo booth and look very happy together. They also call Carrie and Noah to join them, and then all four of them click pictures together. In the next scene, Noah wakes up in 2017, and he finds that he is patched up with Max. He learns that Ethan and Avery got engaged last night and Carrie has started dating her ex-boyfriend Phil. Noah becomes upset and he goes to Carrie's house who rebuffs. After that, he goes to the photo booth to travel back to 2014, but he sees the photo booth has been replaced with a new one. As he sits in despair, 
Avery shows up with Ethan, and tells Noah that the photo booth which she got for him at his home is much better than the new one that is at the bar now. Noah gets excited to know that he still has the opportunity to travel back in time, and win Carrie's heart. He finally realizes that he first needs to become friends with Avery in order to meet Carrie. He goes to his home, and sits in the photo booth to travel back to the Halloween party in 2014. He befriends Avery and spends a good time with her at her home. He finishes her cookie crisp and tells her to buy it the next day, so that she will meet Ethan in the market. Then Noah pursues Carrie at their engagement party. He initiates a conversation with Carrie and the two finally begin their relationship. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did, subscribe if you're new. And at last, I'll say stay well, stay safe, thanks.